If you use Handbrake to burn in subtitles to your videos or use it to compress videos to a smaller size, these tasks end up being repetitive. Now, what I mean is if you're adding files, one file after the other inside Handbrake, waiting for it to transcode, then this becomes repetitive. Hi, welcome to this video. My name is David and in this video, I'll show you how to queue videos in Handbrake so that you can save more time just set up your videos once and for all, let them queue up, and then you start encoding as potentially you go get an app and let the machine do its work in the background without you having to add files every other minute. So welcome to this video. And I have Handbrake open. Handbrake is an open source transcoder that's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So if you're any of those platforms, you're covered. So. Uh, I'm using Handbrake, I believe it's 1.3, if I'm not mistaken, 1.3.3. I know there's 1.4.1, uh, but I've not yet upgraded to that. So let's begin. Here are our videos. Uh, I have four videos and four subtitle files. So uh, normally we just add a video file and then make the different configurations, use a different preset uh, if that's what you are into. Uh, and burn in your subtitles if that's what you're doing. So the scenario for my case is that I end up doing repetitive tasks that require me to add a video, uh, ensure that the dimensions are okay, the, videos, uh, the video settings are okay, uh, the audio, and then the subtitles are to be burned in to the video. So if you have videos of the same, for example, uh, dimensions, uh, for these videos are in 1280 by 720, then you need to use, for, for example, in this case, uh, the fast preset 720-30 uh, because I believe uh, this video uh, is in 30 frames per second. So that is one thing. But if that was not the case, then you might need to actually uh, change all the settings for each video based on what you want. So uh, the only thing I, I believe I need to add here is just the subtitle. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do. Just click on subtitles, import subtitle, and then select the subtitle that I want to burn into this video. So once I do that, click on open, and uh, I believe this one is in French. Just click on F, Francais, and then click on burn in. Now, once I do that, instead of clicking on start encode, all I need to do is just click on add to queue. And once you click on add to queue, you'll notice something here one job is pending and then you'll see uh, a q q1 here so we can just come back to open source add our second video here we go since we know uh, all the other settings are the same the video dimensions and everything else and all we want to do is just add subtitles let's just import this one this one i believe is in italian let's click open let's look for i I'm not sure we have it. Uh, I think it's Italiano. And then just tick ban in and then click on add to queue. So we have queue, two jobs, two jobs pending. Come back to open source and then come back to three. Always make sure that you set the different uh, parameters here, the dimensions, the video, the audio, the subtitles uh, to suit your needs uh, to avoid uh, wasting time because why we need to do this is to save time. Uh, maybe you'd be taking an app, but you can just configure these ones and you're done. So subtitles, just import subtitle. Let's import this particular, this is a Russian one. Just click on open. Just click on R uh, Russian and then tick burn in uh, so that they can be burned into the video, this particular section. And then just click on add to queue. So we have Q3 three jobs pending, open source, and then we just come up to here, drop a fourth file. Uh, since we only need to add a subtitle, and as I mentioned, if you have a custom preset, and I've walked you through how to create custom presets for Handbrake, then you can set those uh, up uh, or just select the particular preset that you wanted. So click on import subtitle. Uh, this one is in English, just click on open. Default is in English language, uh, tick burn in, and then once you're done, add to queue. So we are done with this particular folder where we have our source material. So we can just minimize that. 
and then just maximize this. So right now we have four jobs pending and then we have a queue of four. So if we click on the queue, uh, you can see all the jobs pending. Uh, you can uh, see how, uh, the button to start the queue. Uh, and then you can see the different options, retry, retry fail, retry, uh, reset selected jobs, ETC, export queue. If you're working with uh, somebody with different or with a powerful machine than you, then you can create the queues for them and then send them the queue. So this is really awesome in that you can collaborate with somebody to either transcode video files into smaller sizes or whatever you want to do. Uh, you'll see a summary, uh, statistics and an activity log. So if I just click on one video, you'll see the source, you'll see the destination, and then you'll see uh, all the different aspects here, uh, the subtitles, uh, preset, the preset is first, whatever, everything else is available here. Uh, you can edit these particular settings. And once you click on that, the video is actually taken back to the main editing window. And I believe it is removed from this queue. Uh, you can also set the actions, uh, open source directory, open destination directory, whatever you want. You can look at the statistics uh, and this will be available after an encode is complete. The activity log and this is also available when the activity is complete. Something else that you can do is that when you're done or when this queue is done transcoding, what do you want Handbrake to do? There are different options. Do nothing, shut down, sleep, hibernate, lock system, log off, quit Handbrake. So pretty awesome features right here uh, in that you can create a queue for your videos. If you have a custom preset, use that particular custom preset. If you wanted to burn in subtitles, add them to your different videos and then either export the queue for you to collaborate with somebody else or somebody who has a faster or more powerful machine than you. And then uh, set out that once you're done, either shut down your computer. This will save you time instead of adding a single file, uh, transcoding it or encoding it and then repeating the whole process over and over again, especially for repetitive tasks. So once you're satisfied with all the things that you want, just click on start queue. And once you click on start queue, uh, every video begins here, uh, encoding pass one of one. You can uh, now start seeing all the different things. Uh, so this is when it started, when it ended, encoding time, the file size, uh, and then this will be available once that is done. So you can see the time remaining, elapsed time, everything in between. So that is how you can queue videos or jobs inside Handbrake, saves you time, and you can go do whatever else you wanted to do once you do this inside Handbrake. So the videos I'm completing, as you see, uh, it's a green tick. So that means that the queue or the process has been successful. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this video is going to be valuable to somebody that's interested in either compressing videos using Handbrake and has a ton of videos that follow the same, uh, either the same preset or just need to configure different things and then just leave the system running overnight or during their lunch break. And this is going to save you time uh, when you want or when, when you don't want to start upload, uh, adding videos to the source, waiting for it to transcode and then adding more videos. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.